Hey you guys, it is week three and I forgot to do my video so I'm just going to be winging it. I don't really have any scripture or anything as you can tell I just, you know, I got out from church and everything but I'm going to talk about something that everybody wants but nobody seems to confine nowadays and what is that? What is it? It is love! That's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about love. Now, I don't really, like I said, I don't really have any scripture or anything written down. I'm just going to give you my opinion on relationships nowadays. Most of the time in relationships, they blame it on a girl. That it, I mean, not a girl, the boy. They blame it on the boy. That it's the boy's fault. The boy, he's a jerk. He only wants one thing. And you know, well maybe that is true. Maybe the guy was looking for something. But he wouldn't be looking for anything if us girls didn't give it away. That's all I'm saying. Is that girls nowadays have no respect whatsoever for themselves. They'll go out and do just about anything to win love. Now, a lot of people confuse love with lust. And what is the difference? Lust is <clears throat> wanting the physical stuff. Love is loving you regardless. People confuse love with I love you because I love you because you're cute. I love you because you do this for me. I love you because you don't do this. That's not love. Love is I love you because I mean, love is I love you, period. It's not I love you because. Um, I think that's what a lot of people confuse love with. Is, you know, just I love you because you do this or that. But love is love, period. And a lot of girls nowadays, they've, they've lost their femininity. <laughs> that is a word. Um, but I'm like, they, they don't want to do a girl's job. And like you're saying... Oh, I'm not a slave. I'm not about to work for my man. He can do his own. He can wash his own clothes. He can do... No. It's not like that at all. Like, girls, you're supposed to do that. Did you did you realize that it's biblical? It's in the Bible that you're supposed to take care of your man? Well, I mean, not if you're in a relationship. But, like, if you're married, you're supposed to take care of him. You're supposed to be there to honor and uplift him. But most girls nowadays, they think that the guy's supposed to do everything. That the guy that, um... We're so high and mighty that we don't we don't need to do anything. Well, we're not high and mighty girls. In fact, the guy, he is supposed to make the decisions in the relationship. And most girls, they don't think that's how it's supposed to be. They think they're supposed to be the boss. They're supposed to do everything. They don't they don't give a they don't give the guy a chance to show his masculinity. Like a guy <clears throat> like in like sometimes I see married couples and the girl is always nagging the guy, but that's not the way it's supposed to be. The guy should be the one making the decisions. Like girl, sometimes girls don't give it, the guy a chance to be a guy. You know what I'm saying? They're always nagging him and telling him what to do. But really, girls, what you're supposed to do is you're just supposed to follow the guy in everything he does. You're supposed to follow him and uplift him and care for him. You're supposed to, you know, clean and cook and do all these things. And if, and if girls did the girl's job and the boys did the boy's job, love would be beautiful. Think about it. The guy comes home, the girl cooks for him, and he's like... Oh, thank you. That was so sweet, and he and he's appreciative of it, and like, but it doesn't work like that nowadays. Girls are so bossy and and hateful and demanding, and then the guy. It's like the girls want the guy to submit to them, and they don't want, you know, no. The girl is supposed to submit to the guy, and the guy is supposed to, you know, be the head of the. I bet I still so old fashioned to everybody out there. They're thinking, Tracy, you crazy? That's not the way it's supposed to be. That is the way it's supposed to be, and you know. That's why people can't find true love nowadays. Back in the day when um, my grandma was growing up, that's the way it was. The girl stayed home and she... I'm not saying that girls, you're supposed to be a slave. That you're just supposed to, you're just supposed to work your whole life for the guy. No, that's not that. That's not even how it's supposed to be at all. You're supposed to, to uplift him and respect his decisions and follow him. Like Girls were cre created to be a sidekick to a guy. Not to be you know, ahead of the guy. We're supposed to, the guy's supposed to protect us and we're supposed to honor him and all he does. We're like, we're, tr we, we, girls are created to like uplift and encourage a guy. That's what we're meant to do. We're not meant to crush a guy and be the head and block, boss him around just because we're women. We can do anything. No. Girls are, <coughs> girls are supposed to be treated with the utmost respect and love. But if you're not treating your guy with respect or love, how can you how can you expect him to treat you with respect or love? Think about it. <clears throat> if you don't respect your husband and make him look good in public or, you know, do all these things for him, how can you expect him to love you and honor you like a guy's supposed to do? 
Girls, if you don't want a guy be a guy in a relationship, you know, it's not going to work out. If you're constantly trying to nag him and, and stuff, like, I know we all have those problems. I mean, it's, you know, but, like, the guy, he's supposed to be, he's supposed to make the decisions. And I think that a lot of problems in relationships comes from girls not wanting to do the girl's job. Now that's just my opinion. Like I know guys now, but I don't. I don't believe guys would treat girls so badly if girls didn't let guys treat them badly. And I see a lot of guys post statuses like, "Girls never go for the good guys. All they want is the jerks and stuff." Well, I don't believe that. I think that's. I think a girl wants a good guy, but they, but good guys, they. I don't know. Girls. Oh, what am I trying to say? Good guys, they, they, you know. They, they want to be the head, and they want to make decisions and stuff. But girls, they mostly go for jerks because they think that they can change them or something, that they can be the head, They're, they can make all the decisions. <clears throat> but in a good guy relationship, the girl would have to be caring towards him. And uh, a lot of girls aren't willing to do that nowadays. And so that's what I think the problem is. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of flack on this video, or I don't even know if anybody watches my videos, but... I think most of the problems today with today's relationship is the girls because the girls let a lot of things happen that shouldn't happen. You know, we have a whole lot more control, you know, than you think you do. And I believe that guys would respect girls more if girls respected guys more. Do you see all these statuses, like all these pictures on Facebook? The, everybody's always blaming the guy, like saying, if you if you care for her, then she'll do this. And then, then, then. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no wonder guys hate girls, not hate girls, but like are disrespectful towards them because we we disrespect them. We don't let them, you know, we don't let them be guys. We don't let them make decisions and stuff. We're always nagging and, and hateful and thinking that we're supposed to be, you know, the head honcho and everything. Yes, guys are supposed to respect you and love you more, but you're not supposed to, you know, just put them down all the time. So... What I'm basically saying is, if girls did the girls job and boys did the boys job, relationships would, they would just go a whole lot smoother in life. Girls, stop being bossy, stop trying to tell your guy what to do and what you're not going to do. Is I mean, have respect for yourself, but don't be, like, hateful and downing towards him. And guys, if you have a girl that respects you and, and, and does do things for you, honor that, like... Show her you appreciate that, like, <clears throat> but that's just basically what I'm saying. If a guy did a, if a guy did a guy's job and a girl did a girl's job, everything would just, it would just be love. That's what I'm saying. Like, look to the Bible what to do in a relationship. I mean, girls, it may look, it may seem like you're a slave, but a guy has to love you more than he loves the church. Or, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that's. But a guy has to love you a lot. He has to honor you a lot. So before you start thinking you're a slave, read the Bible, okay? You're supposed to be submissive, but he's supposed to honor you and love you through it all. And, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Read the Bible if you want to know how to get along in a relationship. And I'm tired of seeing so many people break up and, and love just falling apart. So, that's all I have to say on that matter. That's my opinion of love nowadays. So, thank you. I know I'm going to get a lot of flight, but I don't care. <laughs> Bye.